In this Silk Performer video, we'll show you the new True Log Tree Filter and how it can help you to organize large and complex True Logs. And we're going to show you True Log Explorer's smart rendering feature and the new binary view. Let's take a look at the filter features. Some load tests can produce complex True Logs with deep hierarchies. The True Log Tree Filter allows you to hide specific nodes to make a tree short and clear. The filter toolbar contains three buttons an on and off switch, a configure button and a synchronize button. The filter automatically detects the true log type and provides a broad range of filtering options, split up in general filters and type specific filters. For this video I'm creating a Citrix project to record a short Citrix Xenap session. This login process will be reflected by web functions in the true log later on. And all actions I'm performing from now on will be reflected by Citrix functions. The true log filter will allow us to show either the one function type or the other. Let's close the browser and save the recording. I start a trial run to let Silk Performer generate a true log. When the run is completed, we can take a look at the tree and its nodes. Now it's time to make use of the true log filter. So let's click configure tree filter. The filter provides general settings and type specific settings. We can now for example specify to show only nodes of type Citrix. This immediately tidies up the tree and we've hidden the nodes that reflect the logging in process. The top level node now contains the tag filtered and beside the other nodes a little filter icon shows up. With this little icon you can turn on and off the filter at any time. Let's try to show only the nodes of type web. Additionally, we can now hide a number of other nodes, like cache hits, style sheets, XML files, or images. And here we go, the tree now only shows the logging in process and it hides the file types we've specified. In compare mode, TrueLog Explorer shows two trees, one for the main view and one for the compare view. You can synchronize the filters in both trees by clicking Keep Tree Filters Synchronized. When you open an additional true log, you will see that the filter always applies to a specific true log, which means that you can apply several filters with different settings to different true logs. Let's have a quick look at two more new features in TrueLog Explorer. First, there's the smart rendering feature. TrueLog Explorer automatically renders the content in the appropriate format. The content of this particular node is rendered in HTML. When you right click the response tab, you can easily change the format. TrueLog Explorer now also provides a binary view, which allows you to display data that could not be visualized otherwise, like a video or a font file. Also, you can save the file to your disk and then open it with some appropriate software. The new TrueLog filter, the smart rendering feature and the binary view are some of the new features that help to make your work with TrueLog Explorer easier and more productive. To not miss any upcoming Silk Performer videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit microfocus.com for more information around Silk Performer and make sure to explore our support and services site, which provides a ton of useful information. Thanks for watching.